Hey YouTube, how's it going? I'm Gadget Tom, and today we're going to be talking about the internet outage on the East Coast that affected many users like yourself and many businesses. The East Coast suffered a distributed denial of service attack or DDoS. So what is DDoS? DDoS is an attack method to disable a website causing errors for the end user or to make an entire website unresponsive. So essentially a DDoS attack is when a group attacks a server and sends as much traffic as it can towards that server so that the end user like you and myself cannot access that website, thus making us get errors and making the website completely inaccessible to us. So a distributed denial of service attack is normally focused on one website, however this attack targeted a service manager that manages multiple websites such as Spotify, Netflix, GitHub, Grubhub, PayPal, and many, many more. So USA Today reports that DIN's chief strategy officer said that it's a very smart attack. We start to mitigate and they react. It keeps on happening every time. We're learning though. So the Mirai botnet harnesses the computing power of internet connected devices as the engine behind its denial of service attacks. These devices then flood a particular site or service with large amounts of fake traffic, overwhelming the system and making it impossible for legitimate messages to get through. DIN's DNS is the service manager that was affected and reported that the attacks began around 7 a.m. this morning, lasting multiple hours. As soon as DIN's began letting its customers know that services were being restored, it was attacked yet again, causing outages to spread across the US and into the United Kingdom. So now I'm going to take you through an example of how a denial of service attack actually works. So we have a server, we have you and me, the end user, and then we have the group that is providing the denial of service attack. So this right here is a web server. We're going to call this N for Netflix. So you want to go to Netflix, you type in www.netflix.com. This then sends a message to the server requesting access which then in force resends a message back to your computer, allowing access to its site. What's happening here with this group that's providing the DDoS attack is that it's getting a whole bunch of fake internet connected devices requesting access to this website, it's overloading it with this access. So it's just sending and sending and sending. And it's trying, the server is trying to provide messages back to this group, but it's overwhelming it with the amount of messages that are getting sent to the server thus making it impossible for you and me to send messages to this server. Which is why we get the error messages or we're just not able to access that website. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click on the subscribe button down here. I really appreciate you watching my channel and please spread the love. Again, I'm just starting off, but my channel's all dedicated to technology. And until next time, I will see you soon, YouTube. This could be Apple's attempt at integrating the Touch ID sensor into an already existing technology.